So I, I guess our um, last panelist is Dorina Wang. Thank you. <laughs> I forgot my cue. Oh dear. Um, good afternoon. Yes, I want to thank KRC for inviting me. Um, I guess my role is a little different here because I'm probably, well, along with Jerry, one of the advocates that try to help people when they have language problems. And so what I really want to focus on today is to find out like what kind of problems there are and try to figure out how to solve them. So I'm looking forward to talking about you know your questions. I think it's very good, I think, to be able to ask you know the people in charge why you're not getting an interpreter or why you're not getting the materials in your language. So I'm not going to really focus as much on what I have presented here because I wanted to make sure that you had it in your materials so that when you go home and you have questions and you're not sure what your rights are, what you should be getting, that you can go back and look at that. And I also want to tell you that I'm going to try to work with the uh, community health promoters, uh, the program at KRC, to try to follow through on those kinds of complaints that you have so that we can make sure that you do get an interpreter or that your notices are translated, okay? So let's just go, like Michael uh, Leos was explaining, and also Jerry, like what your rights are under the federal program, but aside from Title VI, uh, you also have some very um, good rights under the state law so that, uh, you know, certain um, hospitals and certain medical providers are supposed to be uh, providing an interpreter for you when you go to their office. So how many, so let me know, how many people here have had problems when you go to the hospital or you go to the doctor and you can't get an interpreter? How many people? And then, and then, and then, of course, a lot of you also have problems with, yeah, a lot, many of you, many, almost all of you. Ha so when you go to the doctor, do they say you have to have, you have to bring an interpreter? Is that what they say? Do they make you bring your own interpreter when you go see the doctor? Well, I, I, I'm here to tell you that they should not be doing that, okay? Uh, and so we should, it's good to hear about these problems so that we can find out what to do about them. Um, so under, the, the other, the other um, aspect I want to explain is that not only do you have, you know, rights because of, of language, but also there's what we call, you know, cultural uh, competency requirements or standards. They have to do with, you know, you know, different cultures are familiar with different kinds of healthcare systems. And so what we also have are kind of recommendations and guidelines about what's required for cultural and linguistic competent services. And so there are some national standards, and so I have put some of them on here for you to, uh, so you know that they're there. And, and, and some of them have to do with language, but some of them have to do with, you know, cultural aspects, like because uh, uh, of your social group, religion, uh, or, or, or sex. You have to be, uh, the, the provider has to be aware of those cultural factors as well as your language. And then, and then there is a state requirement that uh, Michael was explaining about Title VI, but under state law, there's a very similar requirement that any kind of state-funded agency, let's say the, because Title VI only applies if that program or that provider is getting federal money, say that that provider doesn't get any federal money, if they only get state money, then they also have an obligation under the state government code to provide, to not discriminate on the basis of language. 
So there's also a state requirement like Title VI. And then also your, your local and state social service agencies, also under what we call the Diamond Aleatory Bilingual Services Act, are supposed to provide you, make sure that you have access to their services if the service area serves 5% um, of, of a certain language population. Probably in L.A., uh, that may cover Korean. And then, and then there's some local ordinances also. Even in Monterey Park, they passed a, uh, a voluntary ordinance where they provide, they try to provide translation and interpreter services at their local agencies. And then, and then the COP Act refers to the hospitals, you know, so when you go to a hospital, uh, they're supposed to be providing you interpreters, um, uh, when you go to see them. Also, some of their materials are supposed to be translated as well. And then under the Medi-Cal program, how many people uh, uh, receive Medi-Cal? A lot of you. So uh, those requirements that Michael was talking to you about under Medi-Cal, the, the, the Title VI applies to that. And, and, and there's very, actually, very strict requirements under the contracts to, like, if you, if you belong to a managed care program, what they're supposed to be doing. And as he was explaining, um, there's, uh, in LA County, there are 11 languages that meet a particular threshold, 11 languages that have to be translated, and Korean is one of those languages. And then finally, in, in the Healthy Families Program, which is a program mainly for kids, they also have requirements where um, certain in interpreters are supposed to be provided in translation of materials. And then um, I wanted to mention a new requirement that just is in effect since January 1st, uh, that uh, like even if you don't have Medi-Cal, but you have like a private uh, insurer, you belong to a private health plan, they now have to provide interpreters in translation of certain materials in certain languages. So that now in California, just about everybody has to be provided an interpreter if they need one, and then they have to be provided translation of materials uh, in certain languages, and that depends. So I can't get into it at the moment exactly which uh, plans have to translate into what languages, but if you co go to KRC, if you have a question, or or you you can contact me, we can try to figure out if that plan is supposed to be providing those um, translation of materials.